Hi everyone, welcome to the lab. This episode is about lithium-ion battery for this Fluke scope meter, which is uh, 199C. And I think I have a better solution compared to my previous video on this, which I made more than a year ago. I will put a link in the description. So, I took apart this original uh, dead nickel metal hydride battery pack. I want to reuse this connector and this temperature sensor. Let's measure these cells. About 16.8 millimeters. And we can see that these lithium ion cells are slightly larger. Let's say about uh, 18.3 millimeters or so. And the length is uh, almost exactly the same. And the original pack has uh, this thick padding. And because of this, a uh, slightly larger pack without such padding still fits, but barely. I believe the cover almost touches the pack here where this bump is due to this latch. And in my previous video, when I discussed battery management modules readily available from China on AliExpress or eBay for just a few dollars delivered, I showed these two. And uh, this one has uh, balancing, but in my previous video I said that it probably won't fit. I'm not so sure now, perhaps it might fit if I carefully put it here, so it would end up here and not interfere with this bump. And if I used uh, thin wrapping around the pack, it might work. So I suggested using these modules, which can be fitted here. But unfortunately, uh, this module does not have balancing. And now I think I found a better option. I found a module like this, which has balancing, but it is narrower, and also it is thinner. So I believe it should fit just fine. Let's take a look. This wider module sits on top of the cells, but this narrower module sits a bit lower. And it is also thinner than this module. And the highest part is uh, these two MOSFETs. So, if we put this module like this, the rest of it is almost flush with the cells. It does stick out a bit, I suppose, but not much at all. And I believe this should work fine. So, I put a couple of pieces of Captain tape here for extra insulation. The tape is uh, quite thin and durable. And by the way, be very careful uh, if you are doing something like this, uh, not to short anything, discharge the cells before working on the pack. And uh, especially when the um, battery pack is ready to test and is connected to the scope meter, be very careful not to short anything to this metal frame. You can potentially blow up something in the charging circuit. So be very careful about this. I prepared the wiring. Here it is. This is the negative of the pack, positive of the pack. This pad is the center tap. This is the temperature sensor, and this should sit right here, and it looks great. Uh, the negative should go here, the positive should go to this side through this thermal fuse, and this should work perfectly fine. The pack is ready. And here I have a couple of pieces of insulation from the original pack. And I'm going to use this uh, PVC hitch ring. 65 millimeters. And here I put a few pieces of Captain tape over this uh, thermal fuse. I hope not to melt it in the process of shrinking. Check this out. Beautiful. 
Well, not ideal. I think I should have shifted this slightly this way to keep the wires from the edge. So I'm going to put a piece of Captain tape over the edge and also use this piece of foam from the original pack. This uh, should fit perfectly and I hope this should work fine. Here it is, ready to go. Not ideal here, but the wires are sitting higher than this uh, metal frame and there is some distance this uh, thick padding and uh, captain tape over the edge I think it should be okay the cover fits just fine, no problem here it is, running on the new pack I charged it just for a few minutes so it must be about to die Thanks for watching. Bye.